Welcome everybody to Terraria Wipeout. Today we have four contestants ready to go head to head to head to head and they're going to compete for the best time in three courses. Let's check out the courses right now. We have course number one right here. This course is grappling hook based. You're going to be using the swingy hook from the juice mod which allows you to swing back and forth and then once you get through all of this you land over here and then you will take a regular grappling hook grapple your way to the top and then from this door you will grapple onto the door. Boom launch yourself to the finish line and time when you hit the floor course number two wipeout is known for their big red balls and that's exactly what we got here but the big red balls in this are made out of frozen slime blocks which if you guys don't know frozen slime blocks they're very slippery as we can see so the contestants had to get all the way through this go up here if a contestant falls down by the way they must go all the way to the beginning unless they land on another ball and save themselves but again your time stops once you hit the finish line course number three our third and final course is based on wall jumping and just climbing ropes and the last course that was just kind of based on just jumping and timing but yeah this course has a lot of hard wall jumping you do this first set of wall jumping you land up here you go to the right and then you get to the ropes the ropes are very very tough if you don't know how ropes and terraria work you get through the ropes and then you slide down the walls you go up 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 this rope and boom once you hit the finish line time will end right there but yeah let us go ahead and start the first course with our first contestant all right so we have our first contestant here pyro he said that he's not familiar with the juice mod grappling hooks but we're about to see how familiar and how quick he can adapt to them but yeah let us begin i'm gonna sh i'm gonna shoot this gun and i'm gonna hit the timer on my phone hopefully it works out three two one boom begin i did that flawlessly on my side so if you fall down on the course i don't know if i explained it in a clip before but if you fall down in the course you just go back to the beginning and keep trying and like i said pyro he's not familiar with these juice mod grappling hooks a lot of people might not be but we're gonna see today if they can adapt and learn if they can adapt and learn you gotta get some more momentum in there you gotta swing back and forth some more oh my let's see if pyro can do this we're giving him some tips here see if that'll help him out a little bit Oh, he hit the platform. <laughs> Maybe that's for the better. Oh my. He just hit the one minute mark. Like I said, I don't know if I'll have the uh, the thing pop up on the screen, the timer, because I have no idea how, but uh, we'll see. Whoa, we're playing via Steam servers and I didn't want to play via Steam servers, but for some reason I couldn't get anyone to connect to my IP. I don't know, my IP is broken or something. I used to do it before, or I used to use my Terraria server for stuff before. He's almost at the two minute mark. There we go, he made it. Oh, but he just down on the third one. There we go. There we go. I think he's starting to get used to it. Let's see if he can hit this one. Okay. I see you. Now he just need to finish up here. Boom. Boom. Switch hooks and go up. Okay. He's going up quick. I probably should have explained to him to switch hooks, but I don't know. I thought it would be obvious. Boom right here. Oh, uh, do the door trick with the hook. <laughs> okay. Pyro may not be that familiar with Terraria as he is with Minecraft. But there you go, time. It was 2.54, on to the next contestant. Here we got our next contestant here, Saf. Let's do it, three, two, one, begin. I hit the timer correctly, thank God. That's the thing I'm worried about is shooting and hitting the timer at the same time. Now, Saf may be a little bit better here with the hook because he does actually play Terraria a good bit, at least I think. I don't know, I'd hope most of my moderators play Terraria. But uh, as we can see here, he's not getting them off easily. He too is trying to just go on the off the first swing of the hook and they gotta use that second swing. Cause honestly, the second swing is better. You know, I gotta give them the tips cause this may be hard for people that don't exactly play with the juice mod or even grab the swingy hook when they play the juice mod. But he's got a lot of time here. Nobody has done this course fast. You know, him being our second contestant, we're gonna see what the average time is and the average time might be a minute plus if they're not familiar with the hook this course when i was testing it to make sure if it was doable uh it was a little tough i'm not gonna lie especially that part right there oh he makes it boom he's on to the next part now he has to grab the hook now the blocks on the floor there they are icy slime blocks so it does make it a little bit harder to land on them he's coming up here to the top boom gotta do the door trick and bam time 122 congratulations Seth. all right we have our next contestant here waluigi lord let's see if he's the lord at swingy hooks begin in three two one you may go now let's see if he can oh he's going with speed right off rip standing there for a little bit i don't know maybe he was really confused keep going but uh let's see if he can beat the time of what was it a minute 50 a minute 40 from Saf. i don't know what order i'm gonna put 
these contestants like i might have it a completely different order and the plan here was to have four contestants but i may have more depending on how long the video is i don't know we'll see but i do plan to make this a mini series you know we might even include some modded courses in there and have a lot of other people maybe we'll even get some youtubers in here and uh, maybe we'll have some money competitions but let's see who can make it to the end uh, i'm not mr beast though so those money competitions will be like 10 bucks i don't know <laughs> but as you can see here as the rain comes he makes it to the end now can he make it to the top i'm gonna zoom out here so we can see everything also because i want to i want to i want to get through down here but look at that he made it to the top boom stop just like that his time is one minute and 16 seconds congratulations waluigi all right so we have a player here he's gonna do his best at this course i hope i don't know three two one begin now let's see if he can get a nice swing with the swingy hooks oh perfect so far if he keeps up this pace he can make the best time easily easily honestly oh my god he killed that he killed that didn't fall for the slippery slime stuff either he's doing good he's going up to the top i'm going up here get a better camera angle he's getting up to the door and boom let's see him land right here bang 26 seconds baby here we are on the next course with pyro he's going first again i told everyone to guess a number and he ended up guessing the number twice in a row so he's going first twice in a row let us begin in three two one boom hopefully he heard the gunshot because last time he didn't he's not going that's his fault for not listening hard enough listening hard enough i guess but yeah this course is a little tricky because if you do fall it's back to the beginning tough luck you could be right at the end you slip off you're going back to the beginning now you may be like you how are these blocks so slippery they are icy slime blocks i don't know if that's actually what they're called but they are a lot more slippery than regular blocks they might be even more slippery than ice blocks i'm not actually sure on sure on that but as you can see that counts keep going if you fall and don't touch the floor you can keep going Th that is something i told them and if they didn't remember that i told them that then oh well let me let me go over here let me let me get a little closer and he's making a fine time oh caught himself almost fell he's still under a minute he still has a chance to beat this in under a minute great jumping form nice he ended up with 56 seconds congratulations all right we have saf here ready to go he had the best time on the first course let's see if he can get the best time on this course three two one boom you may begin do they just not hear the gunshot three two one you may begin i had to shoot the gun multiple times because maybe i'm standing too far away from them to hear the gun but uh, as we can see he's making great time okay he kind of fell and then he did a little dance while in the air now i put that little ball down here on this jump because this jump is extremely hard to make it's doable without the little ball down there but that little ball as you can see catches most people that fall down there he's on to the right side of the course which is probably the hardest part of this whole entire course if i didn't have that ball there then it probably wouldn't be that hard but as we can see he's making great time oh he almost made it to the top right there oh he's trying to finesse it i don't know he's spending a lot of time trying to get that finesse instead of just going for it he is at the 40 second mark oh this is gonna be close this is gonna be close he's having troubles now he was doing so great oh here we go boom bada bing 51 seconds for the boy saf all right so we have waluigi here he's ready to go let us begin in three two one go ahead let's see how good he is at this i think he had the best time on the first course but already sliding off the start this time he knows that he has to go to the start if he falls off because originally i was thinking about doing a life system but i thought you know people might fall a lot so there was going to be no life system if he fell off because if i did like three lives and you're out well then everyone will be out very quickly oh my god he's zooming through this course right now oh and he made it we're gonna count it if you touch the flag you're good 26 seconds for waluigi that is the fastest yet all right now we got a player doing the big ball course i don't know what he's doing he's trying to get a false start ready three two one boom 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 gunshots are off he said give me one sec that's too damn bad all right he's going quick he's doing it fairly easily oh he touched the blue right there i gave him a nice little cuphead mask because you know it's a nice little mask and uh let's see if that helps him out at all you know cuphead's got a little platform into it oof he's having troubles with that one jump right there that can get bad if he keeps on missing that jump it's really good that i did put that ball there because that jump would be impossible without that little tiny ball he made the jump he's going up let's see if he can make it past the branching balls it's getting a little dark in in the world it's all good i have the brightness turned on oh saved himself right there 
oof but then slid right off see it's good that i have the uh, the frozen slime blocks painted because you would never know that they're frozen slime blocks until you slip off okay he's back to the branching balls area let's see if he can do it. oof he's got to slow down a little bit catch catch your graspings what the fuck did that mean you can catch your bearings there you go he's at the top and he missed the top that's that's upsetting he could have had a great time if he didn't miss the top oh he might have a bad time with having to restart for his third time at the end usually people catch themselves at the end all right he's back at the last part let's see if he takes his time and knocks it out now you can do a little wraparound jump right there it's really tough of a jump so i'd recommend just jumping straight across to the other ball oh almost fell down again oh almost fell down again oh my god there's some close calls right here come on cuphead i believe in you you can make it Oh, here we go. Last jump right here. Boom, bada bing. His time is 154. Okay, so we are here on our final course. This may be the toughest, the toughest course of them all. But let's see if Pyro can do it in three, two, one. Let's see if he can make it to the top. Now, this thing, when I was doing testing, this was tough. I'm not going to lie, but it was still doable. Uh, obviously, because I'm the one that made it and tested it, it should be doable. I don't know, unless I'm just like a genius or something. If you do land on those sides, you can still go. I just want to tell him. I thought I told him already that he can, but it's all good. Keep on going. Now, the hardest part is definitely when you get to those two, when you get to those three of them at the top, where you have to do very quick jumps all on the same side. But this is doable. It's more than doable. I'm giving them a little bit of leeway, though, if they land on the uh, top of those things hopefully they don't start doing like parkour outside of it whoa what the hell was that lag spike now this course is fairly simple if you were if you're good at if you're good at anything all these courses should be very simple but you know some people they they undermine these aspects of terraria the uh, movement aspects oh he fell to the bottom back to the start back to the start you hate to see it he's taking a little shortcut right there to get up there that's fine we allow that we're gonna allow a lot of leeway especially in future videos well it depends where the leeway has been being given okay he's back to the rope part so far the hardest part for him oh my god he caught himself oh what is he doing what is he doing that's the easiest part and he's just throwing it away he made it to the last rope let's see if he makes it or not oh my god he made it now yeah we'll allow that whatever this sliding part i don't know i just did it because it looked cool but uh, let's see him get down to the bottom here just gotta just gotta touch the walls a little bit you don't gotta go crazy on them and up the rope he goes up 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 boom bada bing time is 346 all right we have saf here ready to go three two one go ahead and send the shots off and he's off now we're about to see the different skill sets from each player he's using that advantage of just you know jumping on the tops of them uh, honestly i think it's faster to just use the, the climbing claws but yeah i'm recording this video in like an opposite way you probably won't notice it because the clips already have been shown off but i'm recording the contestants doing the course and then i'm gonna record a little demo of me going through the courses and explaining them so i don't have to explain them here uh but i, I probably did already explain like every single course here too you know it's just commentary you no know, people will get on my ass like gamers what the fuck are you talking about during this part of the video it's just commentary don't think about it too much if i just sat here in silence and you just heard me breathing every now and then that's not exactly commentary and that's boring <laughs> yeah Saf having trouble with this part this is the part where i expect people to have trouble with that is all a very very hard jump it's really quick successions su successions of tiger claw jumps or climbing claw jumps whatever you want to call them uh we got them using the ones that slide which is the climbing claws or the master ninja gear is the one where you don't slide and these ones are just the claws just single set of claws but uh, okay okay i see the method i see the method there kind of broke the rules a little bit but it's fine because there's not really any rules at the same time okay he made it to the ropes take your time oh my people don't know the, the how you move on ropes oof he's back to the ropes he <laughs> he's back to the ropes will he take his time on the ropes or what nice oh my back on the ropes the greatest <laughs> If you guys want to know what time he's at he's about to hit six minutes in about 15 seconds but he made it to the ropes and look at that taking his time he makes it with grace okay he kind of just fell to the bottom that's fine fine okay i can't type that fast he's going up to the top and boom bada bing five minutes and 56 seconds sheesh all right we have our next contestant here waluigi lord let's see what he can do on the climbing course three two one begin now let's see he probably has the best connection i think i don't know he's been pretty good in terms of averages on the courses so maybe he'll be the best maybe he will be the best here now i don't know if people are landing on the top and then going down to the bottom because i've seen people just like reset and go to the bottom when they land on top of that i don't know if they're lagging off or what but me personally if i were told i could play from the top of those then i would play from the top of those easily unless they're trying to capitalize on the momentum you get from climbing up because you do you definitely need momentum for this top part right here 
here and uh, let's see there if you land in between there you can't sneak your way in between you can sneak your way in between those blocks and then you can kind of do a little wrap around jump and get on top of it but it's still a very hard jump to do especially with any latency where they go he made it to the top now on to the ropes everyone's greatest and oh okay not yet he is at the one minute and 12 second mark i don't know why i waited until 12 seconds in to say it okay he has made it to the ropes let's see how he plays the ropes oh he knows how the rope oh, except for that one i don't think he got a good jump off on that rope but now he's officially at the two minute mark okay he's back at the ropes oh that was oh my he threw away the ropes he is now officially at the three minute mark oh made it back to the ropes right at the three minute mark now i told them they can't use that block right there and even if they did attempt to use that block you kind of just slide off of it okay he's sliding down the walls it's fine if he misses one like i said this part does not matter at all to me what is he doing what are you doing go up the rope <laughs> he's throwing away some extra time he made it perfectly fine but he went to the left i think he thought he made a mistake but here he goes going up and boom 329 all right we are on the final course here with a player let's see if he can make it three two one boom bada bing get cracking get popping i don't know why i'm saying those words let's see how good he does here looking like he's having troubles already with the first part doing way higher jumps than he should be people really don't understand the the climbing claws and how they work you gotta slide down a little bit and get a nice little hop especially during this part you gotta get some perfectly timed hops and uh we'll, we'll see how well he is at those hops oof back to the bottom he goes a player is about to hit the two minute mark Ooh, made it to the ropes but just jumped off a player is about to hit the three minute mark looking tough boom made it back to the ropes can he actually make it now take your time Huh? Oof. A player has hit the four minute mark. A player has hit the five minute mark. <laughs> A player is at the six minute mark. He's having troubles with this same part over and over. He's doing it, but when he makes it to the top, he just falls off. A player is at the seven minute mark. He has now taken off the cup head mask. It is getting serious as we slowly approach the eight minute mark. He has made it to the ropes almost at the nine minute mark. I can't believe it. You hate to see it. All right. He's not even sliding on the walls. We'll allow it. And boom. Nine minutes, 11 seconds. <laughs> All right. So we have our winners here. We have Waluigi with first place. The times will pop up on the screen. We have Waluigi though, first place. Pyro second place. And Saf third place, the other two. Didn't qualify for the top three. But still, let's thank them for competing. But hooray to these guys. Congratulations for placing in the top three. I don't know. Maybe we'll have like a, a wipeout tournament in the end. Who knows? <laughs>